Mr. Hey. Piff. Harry, good to see you, man. Very good to see you also. How are you? Good. Good. I was just like, you know, going through uh, our history together. It's like our, our 10 year anniversary. Is that what it is? It's I, not, it can't it, be 10. The, the, it, 10 years ago was the first time you walked in our studios wow. uh, in February of, yeah, February of 2012. Wow. Well, so, congrats to us. Right? We're Thank here. Thank you for having me back. Look at us. You haven't kicked me out yet. I appreciate it. I, I think we're stuck with each other for life. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, congratulations on, on the album. It is, uh, it's pretty special. Thank you so much. And the thing that, uh, that sticks out, you know, maybe to me the most, by the way, hi, everyone. This is a, a hits one. We're, we're hanging out with Harry Styles for a hits one on one to walk, talk about his new album, Harry's house. And the thing that I noticed the most out of all the songs is that the lyrics and necessarily the production and the tempo don't always match. Like just Correct. like as it was, sounds like a very happy song, but if you listen lyrically, can be very sad. Yeah, I think. Um, I mean, I think that. I mean, that to me is what is so exciting about music. I think you can write what at the time can feel like you know one of your more devastating sentiments, if you will. Um, and it's not just devastating. I think there's there's kind of both ends to it, but. Then obviously like watching people dance to it is like a, you know, it's like a, a, a thing. So, um, you know, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's fun to explore kind of what music can make you feel. And then obviously just there's like, if there's layers to it, kind of exploring that as you kind of live with the music for longer. Um, yeah. No, cause uh, I, I mean the, I, I, that's what I think people are going to take away from this album. They're going to listen to it the first time and they'll feel the way they feel at the start. Like, again, it could be happy. They could be dancing. It could be sad. It could be, you know, therapeutic. Um, and then the second, third, fourth, they're just going to keep peeling back the layers of the onion and realize, oh, wow, like the, these lyrics can hit hard. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, to your point, like, you know, at Coachella, everyone's dancing around to, to, to this song. And then now you go on TikTok. And everyone is, it's finally kind of hit everyone like what this means. And they're doing all these videos of like things as they were then and what they are now. And have you, have you been able to see any of those trends on oh, TikTok? Oh yeah. They're full on taking like what it was like pre pandemic to post pandemic mm -hmm. and how their lives has changed. Cool. And I'm like, it's been really cool to see people take the meaning of the song and just like take the, take the journey of like yeah, melodically yeah. to lyrically what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I'll have to, I'll, I'll, I'll go on the search. You're, I, you're, I don't, you're a big deal on TikTok. Just letting you know, <laughs> you got fans on there. So, Thank um, you. I guess, uh, so just, uh, just the, I guess the, the easy question is what, as it was, is it a, is it about as, is it as simple as we think it is? Like, yeah, I think as it was, I mean, to me, I think, you know, it's, uh, it's very much about kind of the like metamorphosis of just life. I think, you know, a lot of the time in moments when you realize things have changed, it's when it's too late to kind of, even if you wanted to, to go backwards. And I think it's about, you know, like growing as a person, your kind of natural evolution and losing yourself, finding yourself uh, that time when I think, you know, you look back and, Sometimes there's a lot of times in life, I think, when different people want us to be different things and stay as one thing. And I think it's essentially, you know, in, you know, even if you wanted to, you can't go back to being the person you were before. And, you know, sometimes when you know something after that, you can't unknow it and uh, everything has changed from that point. And I think there's, there's, that can be the most wonderful moment. And even when it is, there's probably a lot of complexity that comes with a change like that. So it's, I think for me, like what I love about as it was so much is like, it's probably the most representative of where I was at in my life when I put something out, you know, you make songs and then a lot of the time, a lot later on it comes out and, um, you know, there's just a lot of time between it a lot of the time and I think putting this one out it just kind of felt very true to kind of where I was at the at the time and um yeah so 
I'd say that. It's definitely the most relaxed I've felt putting any music out, for sure. I, I was going to say, listening to the whole thing, it felt like <laughs> there was, like you there, you felt lighter and like there was less pressure uh, when you, in this. I yeah. mean, that that's just how I felt the music sounded. Like you were just doing what you wanted to do. This is what you set out to do and you did it. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I think for me, like there is a, there's a level of comfort that comes with kind of being okay with what you've made and real kind of remembering that what you've made is kind of what, where the importance lies. I think, I think in terms of, you know, if I was going to measure my kind of general happiness or my self-worth or the love of, you know, my friends and the people around me on, kind of like the commercial success of this album, then I think I'd be in a very different place. I don't feel like I necessarily measure any of those things on um, on that. So that is just a really kind of calming place to be putting music out from. Yeah, and the interesting thing about As It Was, it kind of happens in the middle of the album. But to me, I mean, it seems like there's some sort of through a it starts with music for a sushi restaurant which mm -hmm. is a great title it, just, it, it uh, for some reason also makes me think of Fall Out Boy because it's a very specific title <laughs> that there um tell us about that because I mean again lyrically can mean one thing but as people interpret it, it like it sounds like it's a journey of things that happened in your life that aren't necessarily about you the, the whole album or that yeah. song specific? The whole album, but I mean, that oh. song could be about you. Yeah, I think I think the um, I think the album for me, it's like very much, it feels much more representative of kind of me and my life. I think, you know, making an album is incredibly navel gazing. It's very like self-absorbed uh, experience. Um, but I think at times there are things that I'm, that have affected me that I felt are more important to write about. Uh, I think songs like Matilda and Boyfriends and stuff like that is, you know, it's just like being true to what I'm experiencing at the time and, and not kind of focusing on, oh, I should write a song that's about this or I should write a song that's about this. It's just, you know, kind of making the music I wanted to make and, and, I think in terms of it feeling the most like me, I'd say there's a lot, there's, it's kind of like when at the start of this album, when I imagined what kind of album I wanted to make, this sounds kind of, this is kind of like everything I wanted to make. And it sounds much like how I imagined it. And it's really hard not to feel kind of very, um, just happy with, with kind of how, where it's ended up. So I'm, uh, I'm really proud of it and I hope people enjoy it and um, I'm looking forward to playing these songs for hopefully a long time. I can't wait to see you play them uh, later tonight in, uh, in, at the, the arena. What, yeah. So wait, why, why was Music for a Sushi <clears throat> Restaurant the first song? Why was that the right one to start the album with? Um, I, think, I think like I had an idea of how this album would begin. I think especially kind of from where the last album finished with fine line i felt like there was like a natural journey that i thought it would kind of pick up a place it would pick up from and i think when it came to making the music i wanted to kind of not have any moments of being too self-referential of like oh, i want to start from there i wanted to feel like i want to start from where i am right now i want to come in with a bang because that's how i want to come back and present my music and when people listen to the album i want them to kind of feel like oh okay it's not that it's something else and i think for me like the horns are killer on it i love that thank you the horn, i was like yes this is i mean again thank you know you. lyrically different but the horns were, were were killer and so much fun but i, um, I think yeah. in terms of where to start i think like i my intention when finishing an album is i want to be really i want to feel personally really interested in what the next album sounds like like i want to be left in a place where i don't know what the next album sounds like and i hope that's where everyone else finishes too and i think the 
you know, I don't ever want you to finish an album and feel like, oh, okay, I know exactly what he's going to make next time. Like I want, because I don't want to feel like that. I want to feel like I have no idea what the next album sounds like. And right now I have no idea what the next album sounds like. That's a really exciting place to, to be in. So I think I wanted to start it with just saying it's, if you, you know, it's not that it's something else. So, so I, when we first, when we first started this conversation, I had mentioned that, you know, we'd known each other or known of each other for, for 10 years now. And I went back and I was like, you know, as part of your career, you've done, you know, eight albums with the group, you know, through by yourself, six tours combined, you've finished four movies only in 10 years and kind of almost, you know, less if you don't count the pandemic because of, you know, the work stoppage and whatever. Doing all that and now releasing this album, do you feel like maybe you have a sense of you're able to appreciate it more or take more time to sit there in the moment and be like, I'm very proud of this. Mm -hmm. I, you know, knowing you've, I mean, that's a lot in 10 years. Yeah. I, I think, um, I think the biggest thing is like, I'd say just the speed at which everything used to move. I don't feel like I necessarily took the time to appreciate all that was happening and kind of, I, I definitely didn't take the time to celebrate things when they were good. And I think a lot of the time when good things would happen, it felt like a relief that I hadn't like failed. And I think now and going forward, I'm just trying to always work at being more present and appreciate the moments as they're happening and kind of be in the moment. And if there is something that feels good, just enjoy it for what it is. Um, you know, and, and I think the, the kind of forced pause obviously gave me a lot of time to sit and reflect on a lot of things that had happened. And I felt like I celebrated them kind of years after the fact. And yeah, I just, I think going forward, trying to find the balance in my life and improve it and, and just try and make sure that I'm in the moments when they're happening is, is something that I tend to kind of continue working on. Well, thanks for spending time with us. I, I wish we could have talked. I could talk about all these songs because they're all very special in their own way. And I know you want everyone to hear them and experience them. But um, just congratulations on the album. Thank um, you so much. Congratulations on, you know, as it was being number one. Um, Thank you. Number one here at Hits One multiple weeks already because, you know, we love you here at Sirius XM. And, uh, you know. Thanks for doing the residency so we can get, so we can see you again before you oh, go yeah. for a while because we're going to miss you. Um, Thank you very much. I, is, is there anything else that, that you want people to know about the album or any of the songs? You know, you've mentioned a few of them, which are very special, like Matilda, which is, is, is an incredible song. Um, anything that we're missing that you... you um, I don't think so. I'd say, I'd say, you know, I, I think, you know, this, this, like I, I kind of said, uh, I think this album is the best rep representative of, of me. And, and I think um, kind of, I feel, I don't think I could have made this album if I wasn't in a place um, that made me feel like I was allowed to. And I think that is very much down to both my friends and the environment that I feel like the fans have created for me to, be able to go out and make what I want to make. So I guess just, just to thank you, really, I think, um, you know, I, I wouldn't have been able to make it if I didn't feel this good about making music the way I wanted to do it. So, you know, just, uh, I'd say I'm just incredibly grateful for, for kind of the emotional generosity that um, I've been gifted by all the fans and, and people around me. So thank you to all of you. Well, thank you so much again, Harry. Thank you. Congratulations on everything. It's always a, a pleasure to speak to you, and I hope we get to do it again soon. Grateful for the time you always share with us. Thank you so much.